cookies you have? Two. Land on the couch. Oh, oh. Battle. Oh my god. So I just threw my phone on the couch and it almost went over the banister, which goes down two flights. You imagine? I can't believe you just threw your phone across the house. I confident in my aim. Success. Hello everyone, welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and board gamey things. Nailed it. Nailed it. My name is Jamie. I'm Jeff. And we're here today to do another episode of Board Games and Brew. Yeah, I was like, I don't I can't finish that one. Show them your mug. That's the back side. Well, I can't because the ha handle's on that side. I guess I can just use my left hand. Yeah. Mine's a bear and Jeff has So a secret box. is out. It was out last time. It's not tea. coffee, it's tea. Mine has a little butt bun. Today's video, we are we have a top a topic to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. it's our favorite board game YouTubers mm -hmm. to watch. So part one. Yeah, part one because there's a bu a bunch, and I think part of it's too like just people we started watching before we were really even doing this, and kind of just in the hobby but not really in the hobby. Um, we just always enjoyed watching people play games and talk about games and we'd like to give them some props because mm -hmm. you know they're some of these people are the reasons why we're doing what we're doing now yeah and some we found along the way yeah i really can't eat cookies while doing yeah this. jamie's just munching cookies <laughs> good morning before we started she, she was like i really want cookies <laughs> i was like well then just okay so. but if anybody knows like do you know what i mean by these like soft like sugar cookies anyways finish them after the video <laughs> <laughs> so we have i think six to talk about in yeah. total and like i said this will just be part one because we've watched quite a few we, people jamie more so than me mm -hmm. i've started to watch more but jamie really like i'm not kidding you every morning before work, Jamie has YouTube on watching uh, board game people mm -hmm. or Disney people. That's but. always my morning routine since probably since we've been together. Mm -hmm. I wake up in the morning. I wake up in the morning. And I, I go step outside, outside and I take a deep breath and I get me high enough. Give the top of my nose. What's going on? <laughs> That was amazing. So yeah, I wake up in the morning and I watch YouTube videos and I've done mm -hmm. that for forever. The topics have changed, but Yeah, creature now, of habit for sure for you. Yeah, I am all about my I routine. cannot like don't I cannot break Jamie's morning routine. Oh. Like it is be <laughs> You wanna know how to set my day yeah, up in the wrong It'll way. be a train wreck. So yeah, we have six people to talk about. I mean, I don't know that I should say this, but I'm going to say this. I think these are probably these are my favorites. These are the people that I watch mm -hmm. more than anyone. So these people range from having like a few hundred subscribers to like yeah. I think twenty thousand plus. Yeah. There is one that I love that's not on this list. We'll talk about in the future. Brothers Murph. Oh my god, we can talk about them in this video too, I think. Yeah, I think to caveat before we start, Yeah. I think most people that watch us now have realized that like we're pretty quirky and we just like to have fun and you know, we don't really take ourselves super seriously. And I understand that it probably doesn't work for some people and it works for others, but most of the people on this list, we would say probably have a similar feel to that. Yeah. That was the reason why I was so attracted to watching their content was because like They're fun. they were just having fun and you know it wasn't this structured like we have to make sure everything's right and we can't okay. make any mistakes and they just seem like guys that I would like to hang out with mm -hmm. and and that really resonates with me especially and I'm not sure about you but if I can watch people that I'm like I feel like I could spend time with them playing a game or just hanging out. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to gravitate to watching their content. Yeah. Like these are all people including the brothers Murph who I can't believe I left off this list cuz literally they're the ones that we started watching yeah. and continue to watch to this day. I yeah. just think that they're great. So that's Nick and Mike Murphy. Yeah. Brothers Murphy. Nick and Mike. Like really we lean towards YouTube channels and videos like Jeff just said people it's all about personality for us. Yeah. We aren't huge into gimmicks. Yeah, full transparency. We don't like super scripted, like gimmicky content. Yeah. Yeah. Just... And basically, like these are all people that I want to be friends with. Yeah, I just like <laughs> I like the realness. Like I yeah. want to know the I want to know the person that's actually playing these games, and I I want yeah. their personality to come out. When you watch our video, that is what we are like. Yeah. 
it in person and playing a game. Like there's no it's the or butts about it. Yeah, there's no like I, I can't think of the word, but like showing off for Acting. the camera. Acting. Yeah, there, Acting. There's, yeah. <laughs> Like, anyway. Okay. And we like to have, you know, we want people to have that have solid content that we enjoy mm -hmm. watching. Yep. And there's just certain things that we enjoy watching more than others. Like, just like I think everybody else, we love watching a good top 10, which is another reason why the Brothers Murphy. Humans so love lists. I love lists. Yeah. Do you want to just kind of sure. jump into this? I mean, we mentioned Brothers Murph. We can't say enough things. They're Thank you for what you do. Yeah. If you... You guys are awesome. In the incredibly rare chance that you watch this, but... So we're going to start off at number one with... Table Knots. Yeah. Table Knots. Okay, so I watch Table Knots. This is Max and Doolin. Yep. The first time that I watched a Table Knots video, literally like Jeff was out and then he came home and I was like, I found my new favorite channel. Yeah, <laughs> she yeah. she did. And it did not take me long to also replicate that feeling. Yeah. I, I love both of these guys. Max, I think, has a lot of similar game tastes that I do. Mm -hmm. I love their dynamic. I think they're cool guys. Again, people I would love to hang out with. For sure. And Doolin and I have matching, well not matching, but we each have Shroot Farms. I have a shirt and he has a sweater. Nice. I didn't know that. Twin. But yeah, so Max and Doolin, like they do a ton of playthroughs and top tens. Doolin does some painting stuff. They do reviews and my favorite <laughs> video that they've done so far is a drafting video. Yeah, so Where good. they're like drafting so their top five games that are on Max's shelf. And it's just yeah. a really fun and funny video that I really yeah. like. And they've been doing a few drafting videos. But yeah, they're funny, they're awesome, they're down to earth, just cool guys. Yeah, who... we're definitely gonna steal, I think, that drafting idea. We'll give you credit. Yeah, again, yeah, I agree. Just guys I would love to play games with yeah. and really, really, really enjoy their content. Really good Max guys. Max and Doolin, yeah. you guys are watching. Top notch. Yeah, you have big fans over here. Big fans. Big fans. Foster the Meeple. Mm -hmm. And also Table Knots, is they have like an astronaut helmet, so that's probably like something Jeff's yeah. really into. I don't know if they've mentioned this in their channel, but I want to know why Table Knots. Because I love space, and I'm assuming it's some sort of like astronaut. Well, their symbol playoff. is a little astronaut. I know. I just want to know, like, What's your story? What's guys? the story there? I want to hear. What's your origin it. story? Yeah, what's We'd the origin story? Uh, the next one that we have to talk about is Thinker Themer, mm -hmm. and this is Amy and Maggie, and they're a couple from Australia who I really, really enjoy watching. I don't know that you've watched a ton. Not of them a with me. ton. I have a thing I want to say about why I do enjoy them, but you mm -hmm. definitely watch them more than I do. I watch pretty much all of them. But I'll videos. let you you go ahead, and then I'll say my piece. Yeah. So Amy and Maggie, like I said, a couple from Australia, and they're great. So like their whole channel dynamic is like Thinker, Amy really likes all the mechanisms, and Themer, Maggie likes all of the themes, which mm -hmm. is something that we can sort of relate to, though okay, you that, do like some So So that, that's what's going to be my point and why I like them. Yeah. Because I feel like their dynamic uh, of having yes. like the perspective. strategy versus theme, Yeah. even though that we both somewhat like theme, but in terms of who likes it more, Jamie's definitely more on the theme side and I'm yeah. definitely more on the mechanic side. So For sure. I associate with that when they when yeah. they talk yeah and I just I really love the dynamic that they have because of those two differing perspectives mm -hmm. like Maggie can go on about like the theme and how well this makes sense in the game because this is how you would work if you were on a farm mm -hmm. or like something like that. They do a lot of different videos like why own it. They do reviews and they do like back chat, which is where they talk about Kickstarters that are coming up and whether mm -hmm. or not they're going to be I back. Like those. Yep. And then they do small talk videos, which are just really fun to watch because they answer some Q and A's and they talk about some different games that they've played. Also, they have an amazing collection. I don't know if you would have seen any videos, but Amy really likes those claw machine games. And they have like a What do you mean claw machine games? Like games? where you burp and you get the toy and it's like burp. Like in Toy Story? Yeah. What so, do you mean? Okay. Like that you can buy those? No, no. She just likes to play them. And she has a ton of stuffies from these machines. Oh my god, guess, that's like, amazing. Yeah, so there's been some videos where she has them all lined up and it's just like a huge amount. I haven't seen that. one of those machines. In a long time. Yeah. Movie theaters, maybe? Yeah, we haven't been out in the world in a long yeah. time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe I haven't seen one in forever because of COVID, but even yeah. before that. Neat. So, yeah, I just think that they're fun to watch. They're super down to earth and just seem mm. like they would be really They cool. seem very kind to hang out with. They're really also very mindful of like everything. So, like, mindful of things like when they're playing a game, they're actually looking at like 
oh, has this publisher looked into the culture? Like, have they, is yeah. this accurate? Like, is this holding, representative? Holding them accountable. Exactly, which yeah. is amazing. Cool. And I do also have to mention, I recently commented on one of their videos, but every video, Maggie is wearing a shirt that has like all of these amazing bright colors and every video I'm like, oh, it's such a pretty shirt. I want I that shirt. Love it. I do, yeah. <laughs> so that's Thinker Themer. They're getting close to 5,000 followers awesome. or subscribers so if you don't not easy too not like, easy like if you don't watch them major already, congrats you yeah. should definitely go over and subscribe yeah. subscribe to all of these yeah people. we'll we'll add links and we'll stuff links for everyone um, down below okay next up we have alby god that cat that cat is obsessed with jamie okay so next on the list we have two sheep one wheat canada canada and this is chrissy and Chrissy started her YouTube channel around the same time that we started ours. I think maybe a little bit before. But yeah, we've been, or I guess I should say, I've been chatting with Chrissy quite a lot on Instagram. You know, everything from if I have a question about equipment, then she'll answer. If I find out anything about things, then I tell her. And she's just great. And she's a fellow Canadian, which is also great. So I do love to watch and follow Canadian content creators. Yeah. And I think it's nice too that like this isn't easy. We're currently having discussions between Jamie and I about like upgrading equipment and like mm -hmm. perhaps like developing our downstairs to be more of like a studio thing. So to have someone like Chrissy who we can chat with about equipment suggestions and how she does things has been super helpful because you know it isn't easy to put content out and make it look nice and yeah. And she makes like incredibly high quality yeah. videos. Like their quality is insane. And I think she said that her husband is a photographer or is like has photography skills of some sort. So they have like Which really great equipment. We don't. We do not. <laughs> if you guys saw our setup, you'd, you'd be like, no. Well, we we're, basically we're have a camera duct taped to a pole. No, yeah, we're kidding. trying to get better. That bad. But yeah. So she puts up really high quality videos. She does playthroughs and reviews and overviews and top tens and all that good stuff. And she also is very active on Instagram as well. Mm -hmm. And she's two sheep, one wheat everywhere. But yeah, I think she's just really great and we really like her a lot. Much and appreciated for all the support. Yeah, and she deserves more love. She does. So I think that you should go, go love her. Subscribe. Go love her. Subscribe to her on YouTube. Follow her on Instagram and all that good stuff. Yeah, she's great. We love Chrissy. Yep. Two sheep, one wheat. Two sheep, one wheat. And she got her name from Catan. Yeah. Which was the game, I think, that got her started into yeah, the that's, hobby. It's a cool name. Yeah, it's like great. That. You still doing good he's down there? He's purring. I don't know if you can hear that on the video, but he's purring. He's so in heaven right this now. This is like his happy place. Yeah. We were going to drink at the exact same time and I got really weirded out. Okay, so next one that we have to talk about is the Lobby of Hobbies. And jazz. this is Jazz. And Jazz is just, everybody's great. So I'm just going to be repeating myself, yeah. but Jazz is great. And he's been doing a lot of, he does a lot of like collab videos with mm -hmm. other people. Yeah. So we recently watched him on Table Knots channel. He does, has done some collaboration with like Quackalope. He's had Thinker Themer on his channel. So he talks a lot about like he does top 10 videos and top fives mm -hmm. and Kickstarters and just talks and chats and reviews. So he's got a lot of variety on his channel and as well. And he won, in my opinion, he won the draft with Table Knots. Yeah. I commented and stated that, but Jazz, in my opinion, you won that. You won that draft. So he's just like, he's literally just seems like such a genuine yeah, again, human. Like just a nice gonna, person. We're going to repeat ourselves a bunch, but I think it kind of caters to what we enjoy with content creators and that the genu gen genuine. There genuine, you go. Not genuine. The, the, the genuine people that we could see sitting down and playing a game with are the people we gravitate towards and Jazz is someone that I think I could just have a conversation with and Yeah. That's Jazz, the Lobby of Hobbies. Yeah. Check Big him fan. Out. Yeah. Check Love him jazz. out. So next up we have All You Can Board, another Canadian channel. Canada. And this is Carlo and Dylan and I believe they're cousins. Do you know that for sure? I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm almost, throwing it out there. Keep I'm like 98% positive that they're cousins. My goodness. So Carlo and Dylan, like I said, they're Canadian cousins. Yeah, and I can't remember where they're from. I know Chrissy is in Alberta and they might be in Al... Uh, hmm, they might be in Manitoba. I think I saw one of them wear a Jets hat. That doesn't, that doesn't mean they're <laughs> from Manitoba the <laughs> from outside Manitoba. Winnipeg. Yeah. 
<laughs> Some people might. <laughs> so they do, once again, a lot of top 10 videos, reviews, and previews. And Dylan does, oh, my voice cracked. Excuse me. <laughs> I know where you're going with this one. Okay. I know why you like them the most. Why? Because they do the box fart thing. Oh, yeah, well, that's not where I was going with that comment. Oh. Uh, Dylan also does a ton of videos on Marvel Champions. Do he, they love like, Marvel? Yeah, well, oh he does all the videos on Marvel Champions, which is a game that I love, and Jeff is... Well, I'm, I'm not going to go down. I've, I've mentioned it. I, yeah. don't, I don't love Marvel. So he does a lot of Marvel Champion videos. <laughs> a lot of Marvel Champion cliffhanger videos. videos. <laughs> and then he also, Dylan did the most hilarious video ever. <laughs> it was on April Fool's Day, but it was all about box parts. Gee. It, I laughed. I laughed so much. And then I had to show Jeff afterwards because. Listen, I appreciated it. I'm, I'm all for a good joke. I don't know, man. Like, you nailed Jamie's, like... I love fart jokes. Like, so joke much. love. Because um, she was losing her mind. I thought it was the funniest thing yeah. ever. Yeah, they did that as, like, an April Fool's so video. It, does, in case you don't know what she's referring to, but he yeah. basically would open the box and it sounds like a fart. A fart, and he was, like, rating them. Over and over, <laughs> and then he'd rate them. It was funny. Like, it was really super funny. funny. But, like, Jamie just, like, can barely breathe. Yeah. So they're really funny. Once again, they're really funny. They're down to earth. They seem like good guys. People, oh. people we would want to hang out with and play games with. And they're just overall fun to watch. And I do really enjoy. <laughs> I'm just wondering if these people are going to be like, these people are weird. We, these people, we love to hang out. Do you guys want to be our friends? <laughs> these people, we want to hang out. I'm literally only with. doing this to make friends. Jamie, yeah, Jamie's in the in the business of making friends. We were at, like at the beginning when we started our channel. All of us were like, what's our goal here? And I was like, make friends. Yeah, we all had we all had like different answers and Jamie's I think was the most genuine. <laughs> I just want to make some new friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah su super cute. Um so yeah, they're really great and definitely recommend that you go and check them out. That's all you can board, Carlo and Dylan. Yeah. And then yeah. the very last channel that we have to mention is one that I'm sure everybody already knows about, but another one that like I watch. This is Jamie's go to. Time. Yep. my go-to and that's before you play so this is Monique and Naveen and I love their channel I just love it yeah, like they do <laughs> understatement I just think that they're great and they do playthrough and reviews and they're just so good at teaching games and like yeah. for me and we'll do a whole video on this later but like if I want to learn a game I want to go and watch somebody actually play the game. Yep. And so they're a really good channel for that because they, they do a teach at the beginning, and then they play the game, and then they review it. So mm -hmm. it's like this whole complete package that they have. Very calm, focused demeanor. Yeah, they which just I seem enjoy. Like great people. I also like, I'm a huge NFL football fan. So the yep. fact that Naveen loves football, I'm like, yep. Mm -hmm. Anyone that loves football as much as I love football, I'm, I'm all for it because sure. I freaking love football yeah me too no she doesn't anyway yeah they're they're yeah. good and they also do monthly vlogs which i really enjoy mm -hmm. and their monthly vlogs don't get as many views as their like regular board game content but i think that they should because they're fun yeah. i really like them it's it, it is such a tough thing to get eyes on your content so if you get a chance to go watch, watch their, any of these watch people. their vlogs um monique and naveen's vlogs or any of these people, please do it. Yeah. It's like, there's a lot of effort put into this and I, we want success for everyone. Like However that. you define that or whatever they're in this for, we we want that for them. So if any of our viewers are watching this and they haven't seen these people, please go like, subscribe and watch. It does mean a lot to, I think, everyone. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And those are all of the people that we have for today's video. We'll do another one of these at some point, yep. probably not too soon. We're gonna, I have like a list. I got a list of people that <laughs> There's I like a lot. To There's a lot of people that we enjoy. And it's become our TV. Yeah, literally. That and Last Man on Earth is pretty much all that I watch right yeah, now. Yeah, we, we don't really. <laughs> Shit's Creek. Shit's Creek. Office every once in a while. Yeah, so those are cool. the six and special mention of the Brothers Murph yeah. for seven. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, channels that we wanted to talk about today. Let us know down below any recommendations that you have for some YouTube channels that are focused we should on check board out. games. Yeah. And thank you to all of you guys for putting out this content. Oh, like, yeah. Thank like, you actually, because... Thank you for entertaining us. It is and so us. much effort. Yeah. It is insane. Like, I think a lot of people think it's just throwing up a camera and talking. It is not. It is a ton of effort. And 
Luckily, Jamie does 90% of the effort for us, so I just need to come and entertain for a bit. Uh -huh. But yeah, thank you to all of these people and anyone we haven't mentioned that we do watch for doing what you do. We appreciate it as viewers. Yeah, so let us know down below any channels that you recommend, especially mm -hmm. if it's people who are like newer or people who yeah. don't have a ton of subscribers that you like think us. should <laughs> have a ton of subscribers. Like us. Yeah. I guess. So yeah. people who are lower on the totem pole. Yeah. Other end of the spectrum. Yeah. That's better. Life is spectrum. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We're in the, the beginning of the spectrum. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for yes, watching. Yes, indeed. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on social media. On mm -hmm. Instagram, we are at Foster the Meeple. If you have any topic suggestions that you'd like to see us talk about on one of these, then please leave that down below as yeah. well. And we thank you for watching. And we say goodbye. Later it is. Goodbye! Hello everybody and welcome back to Fox... Where's... Why did you give me a fox mug? Cuz, they match. Mm. I'm Devin. Sorry, is the way that I made Devin. your hot beverage Devin. not to your liking? Devin, this is unacceptable. Call my agent. Ready? I like interrupting you. No freaking kidding. <laughs> Devin. I'm not okay with this mug. Devin is Jeff's imaginary friend. They don't know that. So, yeah, I wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so sweet. Oh, love that. Love that journey for me. And there's a... <laughs> <laughs> Our uh, dog is getting a drink there. Yeah, do you know? Come on. Butt. Come on, move your butt. Move your butt. Move your furry butt. butt. Move your husky butt. Butt. Oh, I was yeah. trying to make a joke. I guess that, it didn't that land. fell flat. <laughs> I think so. Or am I making that up? I need to cut that out. We were both like... <laughs> <laughs> Don't offend anyone. I no. was like that. <laughs> Does anyone um, want a cat? That makes or two? weird noises. <laughs>